It's a very hot day here in Worcester, Massachusetts. Well, hot for Massachusetts. It's about uh, 85 degrees and it's very humid. So, what I decided to do is cool off with a nice, refreshing malt beverage called Guinness. Now, something interesting about Guinness beer is uh, that it's, if you buy it in a can, it's got this little thing in there. And if I shake it, you'll hear it. Listen. It sounds kind of like a, a can of spray paint. Kind of like, so it's, there's a little ball inside the can. And I've always been curious, what is this thing? Well, I did some research, and it turns out that it's a little, uh, a little plastic ball that they put inside the can. And when the pressure is released from opening the can, that thing releases some, I think it's nitrous oxide or something, that, or maybe, or probably just nitrogen, and that actually creates the uh, carbonized, the, the bubbles. And I guess it's not carbon dioxide in this anymore. Uh, but let's take a look. Let's check this out. Before we can check it out, I'm going to have to drink a beer. So let's do that first. Ah, nice and cool and refreshing. So now I've kind of emptied the, the can and we can maybe tear into it and uh, see what's inside. So let's go to that. But first we have to go to the workshop and talk about shop safety. And here I am in my workshop. And you can see from looking over my shoulder, I've got a range hood and a spice rack here, which means this is actually my kitchen. Now, what I recommend for you guys at home is have an actual workshop. You don't want to do uh, things like this just willy-nilly in the kitchen. But for me, uh, that's okay because I, I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. Now, I've got my empty can here. And uh, it's a lot easier to hear that little thing inside. You know there's something in there. I, I, I'm not really sure what it is. But let's, uh, before we start digging into it, let's talk about safety. Anytime you're tearing something apart in your workshop, you want to have a few uh, basic items. You want to have eye protection. If you're using hand tools, you want to have hand protection. You don't want to accidentally uh, sever a finger. You don't want to poke your eyes out. You don't want to do any of that stuff. Uh, if you're ever working with chemicals, you want to have some sort of skin protection so that you, know, you don't get burned, anything like that. In addition to these basic safety things, something else you're going to need is the right tools. That's really well, one of the basic elements to safety, is having the right tool. And for this, since we're cutting uh, sheet aluminum, this is sheet metal, it's very sharp, you always want to have your hand protection, but you also want to have uh, something else uh, called a hacksaw. A hacksaw is really the right instrument to use with this. Now, I, I don't have a hacksaw. Actually, I do, but I looked for it, I couldn't find it. So I'm going to use it as a steak knife. This is absolutely the wrong tool. That, trust me, I'm a professional. Um, and this is kind of the suspense part of the movie because we don't know if I'm going to be using a, uh, you know, the wrong instrument, the wrong tool, and I'm actually going, accidentally going to cut off a finger or sever an artery, something like that. And also, I, I don't really have adequate eye protection or hand protection. So that just adds a little bit of mystery to the mix here. But let's get into it. Let's do this and find out what the heck's inside this can. So the first thing I'm going to do is lay this thing flat and uh, take my, uh, hold the can very tight in one hand and the knife in the other. And what you should do is maybe go like this, have this kind of motion going back and forth. Um, that's a little too tame for me. So, I'm going to just start with that, start with a good puncture. And then, let's start just rip it apart. This is what holds the, the stuff that makes the uh, bubbles in the beer, in Guinness beer. Now, the mystery is only partially solved. What I'm going to have to do is write to Guinness and ask them how the hell they get the gas in there. And you know, how do they keep the gas from getting out while they're putting it in the can? 
I have no idea how this stuff works. This is all new technology to me. But here you have it, folks. This is what the little thing inside the beer can looks like. And mystery solved. I hope you have a good day.